As ISIL gains more ground in Iraq, Iran's top leaders are speaking out about the conflict next door. CCTV's Jessica Stone joins us now with the details. So, Jessica, we've got both President Hassan Rouhani and Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Khamenei basically saying U.S. should not intervene. Absolutely, Asiye. That's right. Iran's Supreme Leader says U.S. intervention in Iraq is an effort to retake control of a country it once occupied. Meantime, Iran's president has called for a ceasefire for the month of Ramadan, which begins June 28th. Now, the Ayatollah, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei spoke at a meeting Sunday. He said Iraqis could end the violence in their own country. The official IRNA agency also quotes him as saying, the U.S. is seeking an Iraq under its hegemony and ruled by its stooges, end quote. Meantime, President Hassan Rouhani warned regional powers in the Gulf to refrain from supporting terrorist groups in Iraq, suggesting they might find themselves to be the next target of ISIL. He did not refer to any country by name, but the Sunni-led governments of Qatar and Saudi Arabia are widely believed to funnel support to ISIL. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry also issued a similar warning in the region. There is no safety margin whatsoever in funding a group like, like ISIL, uh, and we particularly discourage individuals in the region who may have been sending money through some innocent charity or through uh, various uh, back-channel initiatives under the guise that it's for the general welfare and benefit of people who've been displaced, but then that money finds its way into the hands of terrorists. By the way, Rouhani had previously expressed interest in working with the United States to calm the violence in neighboring Iraq, but the U.S. has not been interested in taking him, him up on that offer. Asiyeh. So, Jessica, is the Obama administration sending mixed messages when it comes to Nouri al-Maliki? President Obama said to say, appeared to say something, and um, Foreign um, Secretary of State John Kerry seemed to say something entirely different. Uh, it, it certainly does seem that they're walking a fine line. The U.S. position is that the U.S. does not pick out the leaders of Iraq. But what we keep hearing are um, things from John Kerry in the region saying, I've heard that the Sunnis think this. I've heard that the Kurds think that about Nouri al-Maliki. Uh, so it will be really interesting to see what comes out of his meetings with the Arab League in Paris later in the week and whether or not there's any sort of more codified, clear messaging out of the group. Consensus. Okay, thank you so much, Jessica Stone.